Hey guys, what's happening? I'm Eric Surf6. Welcome to Eric Meal Time. And in today's episode, we're gonna hit the grocery store. Alrighty, we have got the goods. Let's go find a place to eat. Oh yeah, this is the spot. Looking good. Secret park here in the mountains. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, right here. Here is our setup. Let's have a quick look at the food before we get started. This is a mini tempura bento right here. This is an eggplant pizza. Piece of fried fish right there. This is a delicious looking pastry. These are some mixed flavored rice crackers. This right here is a lunch pack and it's blueberry jam flavored. These are Japan's favorite chewy candy, haichu. This is probably my favorite chocolate snack in Japan. We've got a pounded rice cake here, and then, oh, look at this, a new kind of Coca-Cola, orange vanilla flavored Coca-Cola. Have you guys got this in your country? Some condiments there. Let's start off with the drink, shall we? The brand new orange vanilla Coca-Cola. Pop, bang. Wow, quite a bit of vanilla. Vanilla Coke with a hint of orange peel. That's what it is. It's pretty doggone refreshing, I'll tell you that. Good stuff. I like this. This is the mini tempura bento, and unfortunately, I forgot to ask for chopsticks. Here we go. We'll just grab the little shrimp like this. Oh, and the tempura just slides right off to reveal the shrimp. There's another one here, it's all kind of stuck together. There we go, there's a proper one. This is a mini, pretty good size for mini. Oh yeah, mmm, mm-hmm. Oh, it's a sweet glaze sauce on top of there. Almost like honey. Different from normal tempura. Mm-hmm. What is this little nugget? Mmm, sweet potato. That's good too. Whatever this glaze or sauce is on top of here is fabulous. I've never had tempura with, with such a sweet sauce on it. This looks like a white fish. Is it? Or is that, no. I see green. This looks like a bell pepper. Some pickled ginger. The rice we're gonna have to eat later. We're gonna need some chopsticks for this. Next up is a half a pizza. This is an eggplant and bacon pizza. It looks fabulous. I've never had eggplant pizza before. Have you guys? <laughs> oh, is this an only in Japan thing? It's pretty thick crust. This is a heavy piece, a lot of volume here. Okay, let's give it a go. Eggplant pizza. The eggplant's good. Mm-hmm. No problem with the eggplant. Nice and soft. Not a whole lot of cheese on here, though. The sauce is very liquid-like. It's not very thick. And as for the crust of the pizza, it makes the grade. The crust, that's probably the best part. And the eggplant. Yeah. This is a good pizza. Next up, let's try the rice crackers. There are how many? Let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten different types. Packs within a pack, mini packs in the package. Yeah, this is good. 
shows all of them. These are very common in Japan. Yeah, they go in to get some snack packs as well too. So I like the varieties of these things. Here you can see different colors, different colors, different ingredients, different shapes. I mean, rice crackers are <laughs> about the most Japanese thing you can find. So many different types. Mm -hmm. These will have peanuts inside them, these round ones. Glazed ones here, salty ones, different colors. Oh, and also crunchy. So some of them have a sweet glaze on top. Other ones are saltier. They're all different. Some are fluffy, soft. All different. Yummy. Mixed Japanese rice crackers. And my favorite one, don't get grossed out by it, little fish. I didn't used to like these, but now, oh. Mm, it's almost like candy, like a hard candy. Mm. Nice little aftertaste, fish. Oh, cannot stop eating them. Mm. Next up, we have a DIY item. Can you guess what it is? It's not a chicken sandwich, but you're close. It is a fish sandwich, a fried fish sandwich. So I bought a cheap piece of fish right here for 80 yen. This is about 75 cents. And then I've got this Danish here. This is a corn mayonnaise and bacon Danish. So that is gonna be the bun. Look at that. This is one of the more common buns in Japan, I would say. I'm gonna load this on top of here. We'll fold it in half. DIY fish sandwich. This is a first. Okay. Oh, it's messy. It's messy. It's messy. Oh, it's falling apart. Got to eat it quick. Okay, let's get into it. Oh. Uh oh. Bacon and fish don't really go together, do they? Oh no. This is a bad idea. So much corn in this thing. Ah, oh. here's what we're dealing with. Would you guys eat that? Come on, be honest. A fish sandwich, DIY. It's just weird. Mm. Weird. Here's a better sandwich right here. This is much better. These are called Yamazaki lunch packs. They come in hundreds of flavors, made by the Yamazaki Bread Company. This one is one of the dessert ones. So it has got blueberry jam inside. Blueberry is probably my favorite kind of jam. It's way up there. Blueberry and cream, I think. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Reminds me of uh, Knott's Berry Farm, boysenberry. It's a very tart type of blueberry. Oh, so good. The bread's so soft. Now, here it is. If you guys come to Japan, definitely try these. Mm hmm. They're everywhere. Here we go. It's a pounded rice cake. Pink. Oh, it's real super heavy and sticky. Oh, goodness. There's what we're looking at. It almost looks like a roll cake, doesn't it? Yeah, these things, they come in so many different shapes and sizes. You gotta be careful you don't choke on this stuff. So don't take too big of a bite. Don't eat it too fast. Cause it's just, it's so thick. It'll get stuck in your throat. I mean, it's just, it's so heavy. Yeah, delicious. I mean, they're sweet, but not too sweet. And I particularly like this one cause it doesn't have the Anko bean paste inside. This is, it's more pure. Let's take a look at the receipt here, shall we? So this is the Shimamura store, and the total price for all the goodies here are 1,658 yen. It's about 15 US dollars. This is one of my favorite chocolates by the Morinaga Company. Look at the packaging. See, Japan is just amazing for packaging. Packages inside of packages. Yeah, this is what we're dealing with. Chocolate sticks. So you get four in a pack. 
and this is what they look like equals about one bite so there's a crunchiness to them and this thick thick milk chocolate dark milk chocolate these are really good They're like rice krispies or something there's just something about the stick shape of these things that when you bite into them, this, the flavor just immediately gets released. Just a burst of chocolate. Mm. Oh, these are so good. If you find these, definitely give them a try. This is the last item, it's called Haichu. These are very similar to Starburst, I would say, in the US. They're chewy candy, and there's tons and tons of different flavors. What they look like small chewy candies. Mm. Oh, it's strawberry flavored. Oh, there you go. Tastes just like strawberries. So good. Two or three in your mouth is the best. Mm. Oh, yeah. So good. Cut. So that was the Shimamura store in Kanagawa Prefecture, Japan. There's always different kinds of foods at the Japanese supermarkets in Japan, so you gotta try the new items. That is sort of my rule of thumb. And this time on my rating scale between one and six Eric heads, I think I'm gonna go four. It's a four Eric head ranking. That's a gnome. Uh, I think I went wrong with the uh, DIY fish sandwich. But other than that, everything was pretty good. So I wanna thank you guys for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And as always, I look forward to reading your comments. We shall see you in the next one. Eric, out. Hey, thanks for making it all the way to my end screen. So now what? Well, click around, watch a few more videos. How about checking out my Patreon account? Links are all right there on the screen. Cheers and beers, team. Get some.